Hey, today I'd like to continue my how to use wine series and on the previous video I show you how to install uh, Steam games, okay, by using the app ID option, so the app ID number that you find uh, on Steam, okay, on the URL actually. And also show you how to create some very simple shortcuts that you can use for uh, basically every game by just changing the the wine prefix name and the app ID as I said. All right, today I'd like to show you how to fix a uh, 64-bit and 32-bit wine prefix problem. On the previous video, I installed a game called um, Apartment 666 which is a pretty shitty game, let's say, but it's very... I mean, it's not so heavy, it's less than a gig, so it's very easy to to try it out, to test it. Anyway, the game uh, requires a 64-bit WAM prefix, but let's say that, uh, as I actually did right now, I just installed the game in a 32-bit WAM prefix. What it happens is this. So I launch the game, and it says the game you're installing requ requires a 64-bit version of Windows. Windows. If you don't have such a CD available, blah blah blah. Okay, right now I have to tell you uh, that there is no switch to change uh, from 64-bit to 32-bit. Okay, it's not like wine staging, wine gallium. Now you just need to to check this and uncheck the other. You have to create a new wine prefix, and you have to create a 64-bit one. So if we if I'm not going to talk about the shortcuts right now. I'm going to show you just to to see if you if you remember to create a 32-bit wine prefix. You need to type wine arch equal win 32, and in my case it was wine prefix equal dot wine prefix apartment wine, and then I run when prefix steam drive c steam steam dot x and then the app id which was uh, i don't remember actually anyway the, the game app id whatever it was okay so with this command you can just create a 32 when prefix running steam and running the installer for this uh, specific game, okay, and also create this wine prefix for this specific game. Basically, what you have to do right now is just delete the wine arch equal win32, and that's it. And then it will just run the same option, okay, the same command, but uh, creating a 64 bit uh, wine prefix. Okay, not gonna do that. I'm gonna modify my shortcut and if you have no idea what I'm doing just watch the previous videos okay so the video 5.1 and 5.2 apartment and right now I want just to comment export wine arch so put in an hashtag this is not going to be exported so it will create a 64 bit Okay, but what's happening right now? That if I try to run the shortcuts, it will say that uh, that the wine prefix is already there, so I cannot override and will say that uh, I'm doing something. No, actually, we run the game because uh, it will tell me nothing, but it will just run the game because uh, the wine prefix was already set. Okay, so it doesn't matter if if I specify wine arch 32 or why not or, or not you know it will just run the game so to create a new 64-bit uh, wine prefix or 32-bit okay it's also the same vice versa I actually need to move the wine prefix okay and I will just call it apartment so I just remove the numbers okay this is basically I'm renaming this directory, okay? Nothing crazy here. And also I want to close Steam, by the way. Oh, 
okay and then I want to run the shortcuts and as you can see now it's recreating uh, the directory apartment 666 but this one will be 64 bit and you need by the way to rename or to delete the previous directory if not it's not gonna modify it's not gonna create uh, anything new because the directory is already there so you just go straight to the directories to a directory a rename in my opinion is just the best way especially in this case that you have to then to take the, the actually game files okay I'm going to log in Oop. you will probably see a black box here just uh, censoring let's say a little bit my pri pri private stuff okay right now what you want to do you want just to cancel okay you do not want to reinstall the game or to do this or to do that you just want to cancel you do not want to create a steam library just exit okay and close steam okay what you want to do now and this is very important when you create a, a specific wine prefix for every game this is easier, okay? If you have all the games, especially Steam games, in a in the same WAM prefix, this is gonna be a little bit more problematic. But if you have a game in in its specific WAM prefix, then it's going to be super fast, as I'm going to show you now. So I want to move the WAM prefix apartment drive C, the Steam library, the entire Steam library, and as I said, you know you have some going to show you you know you have some app manifest you have some different files that if you have dif um, if you have different games installed you will have uh, like different app manifest uh, so it will be difficult to move everything you know but in my case I can just move the steam library and I want to move to the newly created uh, prefix drive C actually so I'm going to move the steam library which contains the game files everything so it's if it's like a 60 gigs file you don't need to copy or to read download or to create a backup and then install there you just move the the steam library okay to the newly created uh, one prefix okay and by the way when you're moving it's just take a matter of seconds it's not like copying that it needs to write it just it can do in a seconds even if, if the file is huge you know if the directory steam library is huge and then as the, at this point you can also remove the the old one prefix you can do this later if you are afraid of cons of deleting the something like the game folder if you're not sure just run the this later but i'm sure what i'm doing so i just remove and now i can rerun the shortcut and as you can see it goes straight into the game okay that's it without asking me for uh, installation this and that it will automatically recognize the steam library it will recognize the game and will just jump straight into into the game okay yeah i hope it was uh, clear enough so as i say just uh, rename uh, the wine prefix and by the way, I'm, I'm talking about uh, Steam games, but you can do the same also with car games and everything else, you know, with retail, CDs, whatever. Rename the WAM prefix, create a new one, and then move the files from the old WAM prefix, the 32-bit, to the new, newly created 64-bit. And then you are fine, you're good to go. That's, the, in my opinion, the best way to switch 
from 32 bit to 64 or uh, the other way. Okay, hope it was helpful and see you in the next one. Bye bye.